Come back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 11, the formations of solid. Question number 4. A wire has the mass of 10 grams, so remember convert into kg, and the original length is 2.5 meter. The force of 100 newton is applied to the wire and the extension is 2.3 millimeter. So the first one determine the Young modulus of the metal of the wire, where Young modulus equation is equal to stretch over strain, or we can write F over A, L over elongation. Okay, so F is given 100 and the original length is 2.5. The cross sectional area A, okay, we don't know. And the elongation is equal to 2.3 millimeters. So I will convert into unit SI. Okay, so before that, uh, before we want to find the Young modulus, we must find out first what is the area. Okay, where from the equations given, they give you the density of the wire, where we know that the density is actually equal to mass per volume. Okay, and volume also we can write it as cross sectional area times the original length. Okay, so we can substitute into the equations 2.7 is the density times 10 to the power of 3, and the mass of the wire is equal to 10 gram. Huh? So we convert into uh, 10 times 10 to the power of negative 3, convert into kg, and the area is the value we want to find. The original length is 2.5. Okay, so we can find by using the density of the wire, we can find the area equals 1.48 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters squared. So we substitute into the equations where we will get the Young modulus of the cable is equal to 7.34 times 10 to the power of 10 Pascal or you can write Newton per meter squared. Okay, so next one we want to find, okay, determine the strength energy stored in the stretch wire. So energy, the strength energy stored is equal to half Fe okay where we have a uh, half so substitute into the equations where F is equal to 100 and the allocation is equal to 2.3 millimeter so the strength energy is equal to 0 0.115 and the unit is in joule okay question number five an object P with the mass 0.5 kg hangs on the vertical tungsten wire. The diameter is 0.22 mm and the original length is 1 meter. Hanging from the bottom of P is the copper wire with the diameter. Okay, so this is the second. Okay, so for copper wire, the diameter is 0.5 mm and the original length is 1.5 meter. Supported and object Q of the mass is 0.35 kg. Assumes that the elastic limit of the wire is not exit and both wires are massless. Huh? So we don't need to consider the, the mass of the wire. So number one, they ask you to sketch and also label the free body diagram of P and also Q. Okay, so if let's say this is P and at the bottom of P, there is uh, another copper wire which supported another object Q. Okay, so this is the uh, diagram for object P and also Q. So free body diagram for P, okay, meaning that for P here, we have tension 1 and also at the same time, it will experience tension 2 and also there is a weight of P. So I will draw it here. For point P, tension 1 is acting upward, tension 2 is acting downward and we have another mass, uh, the weight of P. Okay, so for Q, Q experience T2 and also weight of the object Q. Okay, so the only two forces acting on point Q where it is equal to T2 and also weight for object Q. Okay, so this is the free body diagram for P and also for Q. Okay, next one we want to determine the tension of both wire. Okay, wire 1 T1 is actually a, a tungsten wire. Wire 2 here, tension 2, is actually our copper wire. Okay, so meaning that we need to find two tension. So the first one, for object P, T1 is equal to T2 plus weight of object P. Whereas for object Q, our tension 2 is equal to weight of object Q. Okay, so we know that T2 is equal to mg where m for the object Q is 0 0.35 and g is equal to 9.81. Therefore, we will get the tension of the object uh, 
tension of the copper wire is equal to 3.43 newton okay then we substitute into the equations where t1 is equal to t2 3.43 and the weight of the object p is equal to 0 0.5 times 9.81 so the tensions of the tungsten wire is equal to 8.34 newton okay so this is the tension of wire one and also wire two okay next one we want to find the total strength energy of the system okay so the equation for strength energy is equal to one over two fe okay so now we want to find the strength energy for uh, for tungsten wire first uh, for tungsten wire where we have half and the frost adding here is actually the tensions 8.34 newton and the allocation is and the allocation but we don't have the value for allocations we can find by using young modulus where is equal to f over a l over allocation so we substitute the frost is 8.34 for the tungsten wire L, the original length for the tungsten wire is equal to 1 meter and the diameter is 0 0.22 so it's equal to pi 0 0.22 so we divide by 2 0 0.11 times 10 to the power of negative 3 okay and then allocation we, is the value that we want to find is unknown and the tungsten okay tungsten Okay, tungsten Young modulus is 3.6 times 10 to the power of 11. So I substitute into the equation 3.6 times 10 to the power of 11. Okay, so allocation for the tungsten is equal to 6.09 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter. After that, we substitute into the equation here 6.09 times 10 to the power of negative 4 So the strength energy for the tungsten wire is equal to 2.54 times 10 to the power of negative 3 joule Okay, okay next we're going to find the strength energy for the copper wire And the equation is still the same, it's equal to half Fe So we substitute F is the value for T2, 3.43 and we also need to find the allocation and again our equation allocation is equal to FL A over 1 where F is the tension of the copper wire 3.43 and the original length of the copper wire is given uh, 1.5 and the diameter is equal to 0 0.5 millimeter. Okay, so I substitute into the equations. The length is 1.5, and the cross sectional area, high R, where the R just now is 0 0.5, so it's 0 0.25 times 10 to the power negative 3. Remember to square. And Y for the copper wire is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the power 11. So I substitute into the equation 1.2 times 10 to the power 11. So the allocation for the copper wire is equal to 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter. So again, we substitute back to the equations 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So the strain wire for the copper is equal to 3.74 times 10 to the power of negative 4 joule. Okay, so the question asks us to find the total strength energy of the system. So therefore, we need to total up. Okay, the strength energy is equal to 2.54 times 10 to the power of negative 3 plus Okay, so the answer that we will get for the total strength energy of the system is 2.91 times 10 to the power of negative 3 joule Okay, so that's all for this chapter Please continue with the next video We will start a new chapter, chapter 12 See you, bye